Jazz Plus, an artistic dialogue, a collaboration between jazz music and visual arts. Hi, my name is Yala Balin, and I'm a jazz singer based in New York City. I would like to invite you to enjoy jazz music, movement, art, all coming together to tell a story. The video you're about to watch is my collaboration with dancer Korhan Basalam. I contacted Korhan because of his dramatic style. And so for our collaboration, I chose a song I learned from the great Billie Holiday entitled Good Morning Heartache. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, heartache, you old gloomy side. Good morning, heartache, I thought we said goodbye last night. I turned and tossed until it seemed you had gone. But, but here you are with the dawn. But you're here to stay It seemed I met you When my love went away Now, now every day I start by saying to you Good morning, heartache What's new? so much for joining us. Um, my name is Yala Balin. I'm a jazz singer based in New York. And today on my project Jazz Plus, I'm very happy to have a uh, dancer and choreographer Korhan Basaran, Korhan Basaran, yes, and a visual designer Ataman Giriskin. Did I say it right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys, for, for joining me. I'm so happy to have you. And I'm so happy that you agreed to collaborate with me um, in this project. Yeah, we're so happy to be a part of it, too. And thank you for having us. Yes, my pleasure. So I would like to start uh, with you, Ataman. Uh, I understand you did not start as a visual designer. So maybe just tell us how you got into it. What do you love about it? Just a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. um, I graduated as a computer scientist and uh, I was doing some software development for some years and then actually I met with Korhan and started to do some stage designing like some projection projection mapping video mapping oh nice and that's but I always had uh, some um, interest yeah interest in the visual design as well uh, but that's the first time that I actually had a chance to do it, like really do it on the stage. Right. Yeah, so that's how I started. That's it, and you fell in yeah. love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it just... <laughs> just <yeah. laughs> With the whole thing. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm happy. I, I didn't know when I uh, first contacted Corhan, I didn't know that you're going to join us. So I got, I got a fuller mm -hmm. package than I, than I planned. I was so <laughs> excited. <laughs> so Corhan, I, I have a question that I, I mean, I went to high school with dancers and, and I love, I love going to, um, 
to see dance, modern and classical. And I never understood the choreography process. Like you have an idea in your head, do you write it down? Do you have little notes for yourself? Do you just start and see? I mean, I know you also have a school. So just how do you tell us about it? Well, well, <laughs> um, I think like whenever, if, I mean, even if you start with an idea and I mean, of course we, we have a theme, let's say, but it's not necessarily a shaped idea for me, but it's a, it's an, um, it's a, Feel, a feeling. Yeah, exactly. Just, right. just that. Uh, it's a reflection of a thing that actually starts shaping into some form of energy in your mind. And then that energy, even though you write it down, honestly, I took lots of notes in my processes before, but I never applied them. Because what oh, you find really? in the studio, well, it ends up being like that. Because what you find, what you discover in the studio is the most valuable one. Because it is such a live art form, um, you just have to trust yourself and the process and the people that you work with so you can actually bring out something new and unique and interesting and sort of on the spot. Wow. So um, that when you teach people a choreography, besides showing them, right, yeah. do you also write it down? Like right hand goes in a circular motion, you know, something like that. Do you write it down or is it all just organic in the body? Yeah, I, I think my, my more earlier works have been uh, a little bit, uh, they, they would have been described as that, you know, I would have been able to write them down, right. which I never did actually. But now I'm more interested in how that energy shapes with the body of the, of the other performer. Right. So once I trust the performer, I actually hardly give any uh, feedback on that regard, but just, you know, let him take or her take that piece and make it their own and then make it work. So at that point, I think like the arms, wherever they are, once we are on the same vibration, same energy level, it actually makes sense for all of us and then the audience who is watching us, so. yeah. That's, that's so interesting. That actually brings me to the next question, uh, because I know in music, uh, it's kind of the same, right? We have a plan. I know the song I want to sing. I know what tempo it's going to be. I know who's accompanying me. I know how I'm going to sing the song, basically. But then at some point, something can happen. I hear a note that maybe the bass player played or the guitar player played, and, and it takes me somewhere else, right? That's part of the organic way of our of our art. So I'm wondering, is it the same also for editing, for the visual, visual design? Like when you have a, do you have a concept and then it changes according to what's happening or is it all free from the beginning? How did you guys work on that together? Um, it actually starts with a, like a simple idea for us. Like we just shoot and then we edit as it goes, like in the, like in the feeling. Right, With so it's all organic. It's all yeah, organic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trusting the process as well. Um, yeah. yeah, he brings in usually uh, some interesting in, uh, ingredients into the, uh, into the whole atmosphere and I try to work around them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't usually plan the process. Mm -hmm. Yay, no <laughs> planning, no <Yeah>. planning. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Listen, not, yeah. not everybody yeah. can... Not uh, everybody can think that way, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, it's, very it's easier in a way, but it can be a little bit stressful in other ways. But yeah. at the end, it's, it's good for us. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. like what Corhan said about um, trusting, trusting the product, right? Like it's, yeah, 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 it's yeah. trust that what's going to happen eventually is what needs to happen. Yeah, Not yeah. everything is in our control, right? Um, yeah, yeah. There, there's a limit to how much we can control that. Um, so when I contacted you, uh, it was after I've seen your work uh, with my father-in-law's um, play, and you were you were representing like the the the, the bird of death. I mean, I, I don't, I, you know, nobody here. I don't think is going to see this play. But and I was I was so impressed with your connection to the music. And when I contacted you and you said, okay, give me some options for songs. Uh, and I chose Good Morning Heartache, I really imagined you bringing that feel into it. And, and I could really almost visual how it's going to look like. 
How do you like to choose the songs you sing to? Um, you see, uh, I think like coming from, I mean, this part of the world, as you somewhat well know, uh, the geography uh, gives us some burden to bear that that stays with us all throughout our lives. Sure. Um, and in a way, I have a huge minor tone within me. I always carry this minor tone. I mean, I know the other song actually you sang wasn't so major either, but right. heartache, you know, the heartache, even the word itself uh, has so much, so much to explore and so much to expand. And um, it just felt so right. And we, we really loved working with your version of the song also. Thank you. I'm so okay. glad. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if the viewers who are watching us now already saw the video, the collaboration or not. Um, we chose Good Morning Heartache. Uh, originally, I learned it from uh, Billie Holiday and I chose to play it with my husband as a duo because of that intimacy that's, that's in it. Um, so, I really thank you so much for such a beautiful experimental process. And yeah, the result is so, so beautiful, as I'm sure the viewers would enjoy that too. I thank you again for joining me. And uh, I hope we can collaborate again in the future. Yeah, and in live, no? On, in on live, live, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're looking forward yes. to that. Hopefully this virus is gone soon and we can all <laughs> together and hug and, you know, enjoy yeah. each other's uh, presence. Thank you guys so much for joining yeah. me. Thank all you. the best. Bye. Yeah.